Yo, what's up? It's your boy Face. By the way, I hope you enjoy this small black and white intro with the red highlights. All right, this will be a gameplay about the EMC Switchblade. Boom, there it is. That's the card, and it shows what it has. And I'm going to do a smooth transition into full color right here. I did that just for you guys. All right, this gun has supercell and stability. So the super style kind of makes it like a, uh, a shotgun. And stability supposedly keeps the gun aimed right, but you know, oh, one gun behind the back. Oh, there you go. Like a fucking G. Like a G. So I've seen a lot of people asking about this gun. Is this gun good? Is this gun bad? Is this gun OP? Does this gun have any powers whatsoever? Well, I'm here to let you know and here to show you if this gun is good or if this gun is bad. So let's hop right into this. I got the Akembo. I also have the particle amp on here. Those are the only two attachments I rock on this gun. I really just don't feel the need for the laser sight. It condenses everything. To Look at this guy on the right. Look at this guy. Look at this. Look at this. I saw the assist and then I'm like, really? I did not kill this guy. So now I got to go back. There you go. Mission accomplished. So I've seen a lot of people asking about this. Oh, laser sight. Jesus, I'm all over the place. You see that kill right there? That's why laser sight is not for me. If I had laser sight, it may have condensed my spread a little too much and I might not have got enough, like, of the pellets it shoots on that target. So I might not have even got that guy. So I just don't find it necessary on any level to rock laser sights with this. I will say, jumping is not really the thing to do with this gun. I would definitely recommend rocking FTL uh, slide. If you want to use something else for the first perk, the forward jump, whatever have you, go ahead and do it. I prefer the phase shift, and I also prefer the slide. Because this gun doesn't shoot that far, when you slide, you usually get dip underneath, you know what I mean, people's shots. And then the slide is extra long. And you'll see it pay dividends here a couple of times in this game. Uh, so like I get stuck in the middle of the map. Unfortunately, I don't have my phase ship. So I just gotta like look around and just, I, I book it out of here. What I do do for you guys is just to show you, just to show you how hard this gun is to use. All I had to hide from this damn Trinity rocket. To show you guys how hard this gun is to use, I have, put like a little mini video and so I had to phase on this guy and this is why it's good you can't get in range and now you oh my god I got a warden with these pistols with these pistols so I'm all over the place right now but I'm just giving you guys all the information I can and also by the way you already know one one two 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 piece two piece oh ow Fury kill! Is that a fury? Yes, it is. It's a fucking fury kill with the pistols. So clearly, you see, you can do <clears throat> more than my throat is so dry. More than one person with this gun. No problem. I didn't even see that guy when I came in. Thank God I had my headphones on and I could hear him. Because I could not see. See that guy up there? You can't engage at that at that distance. It's just not a good look. So I've been traveling around the map. I haven't been shying away from the middle of the map. However, I have been using the side of the map to kind of get where I'm going. And just to show you, look at this. No hit markers at this distance on that wall. Zero. I'll move forward a little bit. Still, no hit markers with this gun. Now, I will nudge forward just a smidge. Just a smidge. This is the end of the range right here. I would basically need to empty half a clip to get a kill at this range. So, I'm just showing you this. Just so maybe you can appreciate the level of mobility, map knowledge, and awareness that I'm using during this gameplay. Because, geez, you have to be close to rock out with this gun. Oh, crisscross, you gotta make the right decision at these moments. This guy I knew would be the right choice because I figured that guy would be up there at least for a second trying to hang out this window. And I was definitely right. But like I showed in the video, the range on this is so, so short. So short. So you have to just really pay attention to what, 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 what's that guy doing you really have to pay attention to what's going on here and that is this guy really see what i'm saying like what the why did he <sighs> makes no sense 
no sense at all. This guy wants to be a victim and go out there first. Go for it, buddy. I'll hop out and get the guy to the right for you. There you go. Like a professional headshot. By the way, this is a headshot machine. I get a lot of headshots with this gun. I do peek out here to see if this guy's going to sneak in here. No, he's not. He's way back there. You know what? Not worth it. Go ahead and dip out. There's a guy to the right. I pause. Being patient with these guns. He's going to come to the left now. Being patient with these guns is also a very, very, very important. Oh, my God. Double warden. Double wardens with the shortest shooting pistol. Probably in the history of Call of Duty. Double wardens. I am putting in, I am so proud of this gameplay right now. I'm actually more proud of this gameplay than I am of getting like a nuke or a deatomizer or whatever you want to call it. I, I, I am super happy about this gameplay. And also while playing with these, I, I, I will tell you, I have been putting in work on a regular basis. I'm primarily a free for all player, but I did venture over here into uh, TDM so there could be more people so I could run around the map more. There's more people to shoot at, it, it seems. It's, see, oh, had the phase. And this is why phase shift is good, so you can always get in range. And I test these guys because I'm feeling myself. I could have straight to the left and to the right and then slid and got that guy. That's what I said about jumping and why jumping is not that good. Dead silence, I think, is very important with this. I, I, I think it's important. At the end, at the very end of here, of the uh, video, you'll see my class set up. Uh, you can go ahead and pause on that. Is it worth buying this gun? I guess is the question. For me, I have all the guns I like already. Uh, there is a camper watching the campers. That was ridiculous. Did you guys see that? There's two guys camped up in the window, and there's a guy camping to their right, watching them, protecting them. Uh, great teamwork, I guess, but it's out of control. Uh, is this gun worth 4K? And by the way, I paid 4,000 scrap for this gun. I did not get this, get this out of a drop, only because I'm a shotgun player and I really like playing with shotguns. Um, you know, if you want like a niche gun, for sure. If you want a fun gun, for sure. Uh, will it be frustrating at times? Absolutely, because you just won't be able to reach people with your gun. You have to be on people's ass. And uh, it's phased constantly. And like it fails right here for me. Like I didn't know where this where's this guy at and he me in the back. Either way, I say this gun is super fun. Uh, I would definitely rock this gun. And thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you guys. Anyways, thanks for your time. MFG, even when I'm outside, I'm in the building. EMC, switchblade, there's the setup right there. Check it out. Thanks for stopping by. Peace. Good job. Report to command for debrief.